Hey guys, what's up? I'm going to be doing a quick little review here on the new Philly cheesesteak burger from Carl's Jr. And uh, one thing Carl's Jr. is pretty well known for is just putting crap on top of their burgers. I mean, not just your typical pickles, lettuce, tomato, whatever. I'm talking like more meat, pastrami, um, bacon, avocado. I mean, just piling whatever you could ever think of that would make its own little meal on top of their own burgers. So, um, their newest one that I think that they've had out before, but they're bringing it back again, is the Philly Cheesesteak Burger, which um, I'm a pretty big fan of Philly Cheesesteaks. I've had quite a few from every restaurant I go. If I can't think of anything else to order, I always get the Philly Cheesesteak, and so I've had quite a few um, different kinds. But the big thing with these is, I mean, this is like 720 calories, I believe, 1,200 grams of sodium. This thing's just going to shorten your life expectancy no matter what you do. And um, I'm already going to die a lot earlier now because I already reviewed the KFC Double Down, which is also another horrendous killing sandwich. Uh, link will be in the annotation. This is a death wish here. I mean, check that out and just see what I'm talking about. But um, I went through a lot of hell to get this because they were having a lot of problems. Like, this dude was, like, smoking a cigarette with his work gloves on, and he's supposed to be, like, the cook or something. So I really don't even want to eat this, but at least I know he didn't make it, so I'm a little, you know, a little more comfortable but uh, we'll get right into the sandwich now so typical packaging um, it's a single promo so they don't have no special made wrapper for it alright so first things first just looks like your standard little burger got the little messy wrap thing right here and there's that now I'll show you a picture right now what it should look like and now we'll go into this and see what it really looks like now honestly that does not look too bad I'm you know not too much like the picture but I was expecting a lot worse I've seen a few more pictures of these of people who ordered them and I was expecting a lot worse but uh, we'll open it up real quick um, overall not too greasy I mean as I, like I said I was expecting a lot worse than this but not too greasy it looks a little more greasier on camera but uh, now we'll open it up Ugh. smells pretty good smells like you know that diner Philly cheesesteak fried onion kind of smell um, overall, it looks a lot, like I said, it looks a lot nicer than I was really expecting. Um, I, I'm not too sure how that turns out on video. That might look extremely gross, but right here, I mean, it looks pretty good. And I believe it has American and Swiss cheese with uh, what looks to be mayonnaise, and then onions, peppers, and the beef, of course, all piled on top of a cheeseburger. So, I mean, full. let's get right into it and see how it tastes. Alright, so first impressions, I'd definitely say, I mean, it's a little dry, definitely not as moist as I, it looked like it was going to be. Um, the onions, you really don't get much taste of the onions. The green bell peppers stand out, but the onions really are just kind of there as that little crunchy substitute, but they really don't have too much taste to them. Um, it's slightly seasoned, I mean, I don't taste much of like, a, oh wow, that's delicious, but you know, what do you expect? Well, for six dollars that I paid... I was expecting a little more, but I also got a meal. I got a dollar off coupon in the link if you want to check that out. Shorten your life also. A uh, dollar off coupon if you want to try it in the link. Um, but it's really not that bad, but like I said, I was expecting, you know, that you know, Pat and Gino's kind of thing. I mean, if you know what that is in Philly, but it, it's really not that bad. Um, the extra cheeses, um, I definitely taste the cheese. I'm sure it's not 100% pure cheese, but, you know, it tastes pretty good, the cheese. The onions, like I said, kind of just there to be there. The bell peppers stand out. The meat is okay. Um, the burger itself is probably my least favorite, but the the Philly meat is great, but the burger meat is meh. Nah. I've never been too big of a fan of the cheeseburgers from Carl's Jr. All right, so definitely my final impressions are going to be it is not bad at all. Um, it's got a few things. Like some bites are really delicious. Like I get a bite of everything, but other bites are just kind of like, ugh, like this gro gross generic meatloaf meat kind of taste. But I would definitely say um, if you like Philly cheesesteaks, which I do, I absolutely love them, I would definitely give this a shot because it does still have that, you know, Philly cheesesteak taste because of the peppers, the onions, the cheese. It, so it is good. But just on top of a burger, I mean, it's a little much. Um, but it's definitely not disgusting in any way. It tastes all right. Um, definitely probably a three out of five, if not a three and a half out of five. But my only real gripes about it is just like I said that the burger itself kind of has that generic meatloaf taste to it. Um, the Philly meat, on the other hand, is somewhat seasoned, like I said, and those green peppers really help a lot. The onions, not so much, but the green peppers really do help. So um, I definitely give this a shot. Like I said, I got the 
dollar off coupon down there if you really want to try it. It's really not that bad. I was expecting, like I said, I tried the double down. That thing was huge, greasy, and gross. This is really just like a, a cheeseburger. It's not as like overwhelming as the pictures make it look. I know it's a little much, but it's really not as bad as that double down. But um, that's pretty much it for the food itself. I mean, like I said, I got the small meal. The fries are eh, you know, Carl's Jr. fries, whatever. But for the sandwich, i definitely give it a shot. I just really wouldn't eat these every day. I mean, I was talking to the guy outside. He said he's been having this every day for lunch. I mean, this was the guy that was smoking the cigarette with his work gloves on. So, I mean, <laughs> that tells you a lot about that guy, you know, eating these things every day. But uh, definitely check it out and uh, more food reviews to come. So thanks for watching and, you know, hope you live past your 20s.